Was the wife you played kind of an idealization of the American wife? There is no such woman. Most I of them are wretched so. bags. Yes, I think we all have our moments. Laura Petrie broke down and cried. She was nasty and short-tempered. And she was also sweet and soft, and she was many things. Oh, no. I, I think she was sort of a, a strained idealization of the American woman, as she thinks she is, but it had no connection with reality. Mary Tyler Moore was America's sweetheart. Hardly anybody knows comedy like she does. She was just masterful, but she was also incredibly inventive. It's just that I couldn't go to a party knowing my son was on the verge of being sick. Carl Reiner saw some spark of humor in me, and he started writing for me to be funny. She was on the side of risk-taking. Her morphing into Mary Richards was such a feminist statement. Mary Tyler Moore Show hired the most women, and it changed the language of television. Women speak differently, and we have different ideas, and we have different stories. May you have the pleasure and joy working with Mary Tyler Moore. You were kind of locked up. The image on the screen never matched the real Mary. She was no stranger to adversity. I had a miscarriage, and when I was in the hospital, they discovered that I had diabetes. When Richie died, that really changed her. Just because you have a smile on your face doesn't mean you're not ready to go to battle. I believe in tomorrow. I believe that things that are painful will not be as painful in some time. It's not the end of the world if I'm not perfect. Mary spoke to all of us. Women could have careers, could stand on their own two feet. Mary, we love you very much. Her seven Emmy Awards, her three Golden Globe Awards, and her Academy Award nomination are only the beginning of the story. I think she was meant to spark fire with a very delicate match. Women are, or should be, human beings first, women second, wives and mothers third. It should fall in that order.